Hello, my friends. How y'all doing? I hope that y'all doing great. As you can see, I'm doing a, a cooking recipe today. Um, and so far what I did was that I cut in half some Italian meatballs that comes in a bag. But to be honest with y'all, the taste, they don't bring, well to me, they don't bring that much taste to it. So I like to season them um, with a little bit of um, my ingredients just to give it a little bit more flavor. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put rice, but I'm gonna saute these first with these ingredients then I'm gonna put the rice later on. So it's gonna be very simple, one pot dish, meatballs with yellow rice. That's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna put some salt to it. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil for now, just a little bit. And you, usually what I do is that I season this for a couple of hours, but I totally forgot about it. And it's okay. Some onion, sorry, I, haven't, I didn't show you the ingredients. But normally it's the same ones that I always use. And a package of sazon for now. I am gonna cut some cilantro and I'm gonna put all cilantro in there. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna move it and then I'll bring you back to put the cilantro and the rice later on. Thank you, and by the way, my name is Wanda for the new people. And when I do a recipe, I like to call myself Chef Wanda with a oops. Disclaimer, the oops is because I am not no real chef, but in this kitchen, like I always say, in this kitchen, I am the chef. So in your kitchen, you are the chef. So I'll see you in a bit. Here's the cilantro. So I'm gonna pour everything in there. I had some chopped onion from a couple days ago. I'm also gonna put it there. I'm gonna turn the stove. And we're gonna just saute that for a little while there and I will bring you back in a few I'm gonna put these tomato diced tomato and green, green chili a little bit mild give it a little bit of heat to it Mm, it smells good. How's the temperature in your neck of the wood? And here I'm wearing a sweater <laughs> because it's a little bit chilly. We're into fall now, but this weather is crazy. Yeah, it could be nice today. I mean, it could be, yeah, it could be a nice day today and then the next day it'd be cold. So today it's chilly. So we're gonna leave that there for it to simmer a little bit and then add um, some water and a little bit of tomato paste or tomato sauce, whichever thing that you have or whichever thing I have. <laughs> and then we'll put the rice. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're ready to put the, the rice. We're 
Remember always to rinse your rice. In my opinion, we're gonna add another package of sazon. I'm gonna stir this. You can incorporate all those wonderful season. Delicious, I can smell it. Mm, mm, mm. We're gonna add now Goya sauce. But if you don't have Goya sauce, you can use whatever you have. And we're gonna add some water now. Remember to taste also the, the liquid. If it needs something else, then add it. And we're gonna put the cover on and then I'll see you when it's ready. So far, this is how it's looking. So like about probably 15 more minutes or 20, it'll be done. Hello, you see me now. Well, the rice, <laughs> y'all know I like to keep it real in here, 100% real. For the new people, I'm gonna repeat it because maybe some someone is new i have a love and hate relationship with yellow rice i don't know what it is with yellow rice that is it never comes perfect well to me maybe that's the reason why that for me i have a high standard to yellow rice and maybe that's why i say that it doesn't come out good the way I like it but it is what it is <laughs> I'm not gonna um, sound like a broken record it's already done all the flavors are there gorgeous flavor to the palate so I'm gonna serve me a little bit and then towards the end like always I put a nice plate for you can see the finishing recipe Even though I shut the stove. But this is how it looks. Oh, sorry. This is how it looks. <laughs> so again, maybe I just put too much water or maybe the onion released more water to it. But... Anywho, we still gonna eat it. So. One for you. That little that little mild thing put a heat to the to the rice it it tastes good mm. and these are the meatballs mm. It has all the flavors that I put on them. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. I like to criticize my, my rice, huh? <laughs> and I'm eating it. So that means it's good, believe me.
I think it's just that I'm very picky when it comes to yellow rice. Mm. So my friends, I'm going to leave you for now. I hope that you found this recipe. Yellow rice with sauces. The meat, it's already prepared. That comes in those bags, Italian meatballs that come in the bag. You could put them all together. You do not have to season them. But I like to season them because to me, to me now, um, they don't have a lot of flavor to them. And I like my meat with flavor. So with that said, I want you to have a beautiful day. Whichever day this is going to go upload, probably in a couple of days. You have a beautiful, beautiful day. Remember always that you are number one. You have family and friends out there that love you. And the man upstairs who I call God loves you unconditionally. Remember always to love yourself. Remember that you are enough. Blossom as a butterfly or a flower. And remember always that you are loved and unique. Remember to subscribe, hit that like, hit that button. That helps me a lot and I appreciate it. So again, thank you and bye-bye because I'm going to enjoy my rice, yellow rice with meatballs. Bon appetit. I mean, bon appetit. however you want to say it. Take care. Bye-bye.